Hi everyone, today's makeup tutorial is on this metallic plum smoky eye which was highly requested on Instagram. So instead of just posting a mini tutorial on Instagram, you guys wanted a full length tutorial on YouTube. So if you want to learn how to get this look, then please keep on watching. Starting off with prepping the face, I'm using the Too Faced Hangover Primer since I'm going to be using a very matte foundation today. Then I'm going to start correcting my dark spots and redness with the new Smashbox Color Correcting Sticks in Get Less Red and Look Less Tired Light. Um, Get Less Red is this green color correcting stick which corrects redness and the Look Less Tired Light is a peach shade which corrects dark spots and dark circles. So I'm only going to be blending this out lightly with a Luxie beauty brush and I'm not going to be completely blending it out because I'm just going to be putting my foundation on top and the foundation I'm using is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation in Honey Light with a Sigma F80 brush. So I already did one eye off camera, I'm just going to start by priming my face with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance using my finger to blend and then the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot on top with a Real Techniques Crease Brush. Then I'm just going to set it with a white shadow, this is Charmer from the Tartlet and Bloom palette. So I only used two shades for this look so I'm going to start off with the shade called Metallic Plum from the Anastasia Self Made palette. You want to put the shade all over the lid and I'm bringing it up to almost my crease. Don't worry about it not looking blended because we'll be blending it out later. So now I'm taking my Sigma E40 with no product on it. Any fluffy crease brush will do and you just want to blend the edges to get rid of any harshness. Now I'm taking Jet Setter from the Tyler and Bloom palette with the same Sigma E40 brush. This will be the blending shade and I'm going to be using the shade to blend the edges up into the crease. If you feel like you lost some of that lid color, you can just go back and apply more onto the lid. For my winged liner, I'm going to use my Inglot gel liner in 77 with a MAC 266 angled brush. So now I'm just prepping my lashes for falsies and no matter how many times I curl my lashes it won't curl which is super annoying. So if you guys are wondering why you always see my real lashes when I have falsies on, now you know. But I just applied Smashbox X-rated mascara and I'm using House of Lashes Iconics. So the first time I did this look I wanted a pop of glitter in the inner corner. You can totally skip this step and just use a shimmery eyeshadow but I'm using Violet Voss Venus glitter and I first applied Too Faced glitter glue on the tear duct area as an adhesive and then placed the glitter on top of it. Now I'm using Anastasia Starlight Illuminator as a brow bone highlight. Moving back to the face, I'm going to correct my dark circles with the same Smashbox color correcting stick we used the first time in Look Less Tired Light and blending that out with a damp beauty blender. For highlighting and contour, I'm going to use the NYX Sculpt and Highlight Face Duo in Vanilla Caramel and blending that out with a Beauty Blender and Real Techniques Dual Fiber Contour Brush. And as always, I'm going to deepen the contour with the Benefit Hula Bronzer. For blush, I'm using the NYX Ultra HD Blush in Amber. And to highlight the high points of my cheeks, I'm going to use the same Starlight Illuminator we used for the brow bone. 
So I'm going to finish off the eyes and smoke out the lower lash line with the metallic plum shade. And for lining the waterline, I'm using the NYX Trezzoli Liner in Pitch Black. And for the lip color, I'm using Joseph Colors Liquid Lipstick in Stone, which is my absolute favorite pink nude shade. And that completes the look. Let me know your thoughts down below and thank you so much for watching.